G'day everyone, welcome back to Machete Bushcraft Australia. My name is Ben D'Onofrio and I'm the owner of the North Arm Machete Co. Uh, today's topic is going to be sharpening and it's going to be targeted towards beginners. Um, and uh, the things that we'd like to focus on is we want to show uh, everyone out there, particularly in Australia, it's really easy to keep a machete sharp, particularly for beginners. We're going to cover a, a few techniques. Uh, we'll definitely show the traditional way of, of using a file and a stone to keep your machete sharp out in the field. Uh, we're also going to show you a, a modified version that we sort of use here on the farm uh, that it, beginners find a little bit safer because um, traditionally you're actually, you, when you sharpen a machete with a file, you're actually pushing a file towards the edge. It makes beginners a little bit uncomfortable. Um, we use a, a backwards method, which is technically incorrect, but it actually works exactly the same, is we actually file from behind the machete. Uh, it feels a little bit more comfortable because you're not pushing your hand towards the edge. Um, we're going to be doing this in the workshop because it's a little bit quieter and the sound's a bit better. Um, so if you just bear with me for a minute, I'll go set up the camera over there. I'm going to keep it as short as possible and hopefully not too many ums and ahs. Uh, so bear with me for a moment, I'll be back. Welcome to the workshop. The first thing I always focus on before I'm working with any tool, um, including machetes, is safety. Um, sharpening is not a race or a competition. Um, it's a methodical process that can actually happen fairly quickly once you build up your skill set. Um, all sharpening essentially is, is you're actually just refining both edges to a point in the center. Um, how fine that point is really depends on what tools you have and how sharp you need it to be. Um, we'll be holding the machete in two positions. Um, the first one being we'll actually rest it um, on a, a hard surface of some kind so we can work on this side. And then the other position is we'll actually be cradling the machete um, controlling it from the handle um, and resting it just on our arm in this position here which essentially means that we have access to both sides of the machete quite easily. Um, I'll reset this up on a workbench or a sawhorse and I'll give you a demonstration from start to finish on how you can quickly sharpen your machete out in the field. Okay, with this method essentially what I'm doing is I'm controlling the machete in my less dominant hand and I'm resting the tip uh, essentially on a fallen log or a sawhorse. Uh, the other method of actually controlling this tip is when you're standing and sharpening, you can rest the side of your machete against a tree or a fence post. Um, that's also another position that's quite helpful. Um, when you're sharpening, you're actually not just removing material on that edge, you're removing metal off that whole bevel. And if you're a beginner and you're unsure, of where you're sharpening, um, and I still use this method from time to time, is you can use a magic marker. It gives you a very good indication of where the file and stone have actually passed that edge. Okay, essentially that side's now done with the file. Um, you can see that I've removed all the magic marker, so I know I've actually completed the whole bevel. Um, the only point you want to know with the file is that uh, you can actually feel when it cuts and you can feel when it skates. Yeah, if it skates, you can feel it, it, just, it actually just slips straight off. Um, if you find that it is skating rather than actually cutting, you need to adjust your angle of how you're actually holding the file. Um, and that really just comes with experiment and skill. Now that this side is finished with the filing, I'm going to control the machete. I'm going to bring it into the cradle position. 
And I usually just drop my shirt down a little bit just to give my arm a little bit more protection. And essentially, I'm just repeating the process on the other side. Now, the areas where you can actually run into trouble with um, any method with filing is that, uh, well, the advantage with this system is that the sharp edge is actually on this side of the machete. Uh, but you've still got a rough edge here, so you've actually got to be quite mindful of not hitting your knuckle on that edge while you're working. Um, but essentially, this side is actually finished with the filing. Just a little bit more here. Now, if I was going to be cutting uh, any really soft herbaceous material um, like grasses or uh, mulching in the, um, the garden, I'd actually use that edge. And it's actually called a wire edge. Um, it has its advantages of uh, being wickedly sharp, um, cutting soft materials. Uh, but what you'll actually find is the second that edge now hits a harder, drier timber, it'll actually bend that wire edge over. Um, so... Uh, if I was actually going to be using this machete for processing harder and drier materials, um, I'd go to a pocket stone. Um, and essentially, you can use the axe method, which is small circular motions like this. Or you can use the, the stroking method, which, to tell you the truth, they both work. And all you're actually doing is you're just refining that wire edge, trying to remove as much of it as possible. There you go. That's actually it. That's a, a, a very well sharpened machete. This edge I would call perfectly appropriate for about 95% of the tasks that you would ever need a machete to uh, perform. Um, of course you can actually get really fancy and you can um, go down to some finer stones and get a finer edge. Uh, you can even, you can strop a machete. Um, some of the machetes which um, uh, we use, we actually put a really really fine edge on it but to tell you the truth 95% of the time just with a simple stone and a file that's it that's all you need guys thanks very much for watching my video um, if you like this video um, there's a button down below and there's a subscribe button uh, the next video which we'll be doing next week will be um, fire lighting and machetes uh, and there's a few key advantages of using a machete uh, out in the bush and we'll show that next week. Uh, if you're a little uncomfortable using some of the smaller tools which we used in this video, uh, files come in lots of different sizes. That's a very that's a large file and a very large axe stone. Um, we'll be putting a, um, a few links down below just describing some of the tools which we did use. Um, and uh, thanks very much guys and hopefully we'll see you next week.